Well, tens of thousands of people of all ages and abilities will be coming to Tucson from around the world for one of the biggest events of the year. You know it. It's El Tour to Tucson time. To make sure we have a fun and safe ride, Tim Bentley is here with some tricks and tips. Tim, thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me. Good to see you guys. Well, first off, we know that TMC is a huge part of this event. Why is it that it's such a good collaboration? Well, we like to say Tucson uh, Medical Center, TMC, is Tucson. Uh, we deliver more than 6,000 babies a year. We take care of such a huge part of the, of the community here. We're community-based. That is very important for us to find those natural partnerships, those alignments um, that um, you know really facilitate and help us promote healthy communities. And El Tour is a natural partner. They're here in Tucson. They're locally run and operated, just like us. A no-brainer, really. It's a no-brainer. We know we love when El Tour to Tucson is happening, but really, kind of put it in a perspective for us. How many riders can we expect this year? We expect. Uh, I know Perimeter Bicycling expects about 9,000 bicyclists that are going to be riding anywhere from the the fun ride all the way up to 104 miles. So 9,000 cyclists, you know, from the very very fast guys and and ladies that are going to be riding in four and a half hours to the people that are really just uh, doing this as maybe a bucket list or maybe it's a benchmark. It's a it's a start of a, of a new journey or a healthy journey, a new path for them. Is it still time? Can people still participate? They totally can. Okay. They can go to PerimeterBicycling.com and register. Uh, we like for them to register through one of the charities uh, because we really, really love the fact that there's about 50 charities that make uh, a, a significant contribution to themselves by uh, sponsoring bicycling teams. Awesome. Okay, so for maybe somebody who's about to do this for the very first time, right. kind of give us some advice, some tips on how to prepare for this race. So what you want to remember that this is, it's not really a race. It is. Some of the top guys will race it, but it's mm -hmm. really a, it's a tour. And that's the way that you want to approach this is you want to, you want to be fit and you want to have the right um, equipment. So you, most riders know that they need to bring their bicycles um, and have the, the tubes and the, everything in case they get a flat tire. But what we really want to stress is that you have a healthy ride. You want to make sure that you ride within yourself and that you ride within the pack that you're riding in. So you want to be courteous, you want to be nice, you want to do those things that your mom told you to do, is be a good person, be nice, and be polite when you're out there riding. Well, and I know if somebody's going to do like a marathon, if they're gearing up for that, there's almost like benchmarks in time leading up to the race where you should be. Right, so, so depending far. on which ride they're doing, because we have some people that are doing the 11-mile fun yeah. ride, and then we have people that are doing a 104-mile ride, you know. So those people that have been doing a 104-mile ride probably have aligned themselves with a team. They probably have been doing some uh, st uh, up staging rides and riding farther and farther each week, getting ready for that. But if you're going to ride the tour in the next couple of weeks and it's, it's a decision you're making right now, you might want to opt into that 50 uh, mile ride or 75, no more than that. You want to ride within yourself um, and then maybe next year come back and ride the 104. Uh, yeah, that's make good it advice. Yeah. Okay, so obviously we want to get a good night's sleep the night before. You want to do all those things. Yeah. You want to you make sure that you're well hydrated, that you're, your nutrition is good. You want to. Um, we have some jerseys up here. They all have pockets in the back. You see those guys and their stuff and bananas and stuff like that. You want to, you really need to fuel through your ride. You want to make sure that your your nutrition, your you're keeping those calorie counts because you're uh, even the fast guys are going to ride for four and a half hours. Wow. Some people are going to ride for six, seven, eight hours so without sure. without stopping for like well, body they'll breaks. Stop and they'll, body yeah. <laughs> Well, there's, there's body breaks along the way. I, maybe you're going to ride in a couple of weeks. Don't worry. There's places to stop. <laughs> okay. Woo. Yeah. No, okay. So when you say snacks, bananas, I, I've seen everything from like fruit to like Snickers bars. You name it. So it's, you know, some people like high calorie count food. Some people like healthy snacks. Some people, you know, they're shoving peanut butter sandwiches in their face. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is to get that calorie count up. Um, but we really want to make sure, you know, Tucson Medical Center is our philosophy is that you're, you're staying well hydrated, that you're still staying well nutritioned. Um, and then you're not getting into an extreme distress situation out on that course. So take a time to stop at a water stop and make sure you're eating. And if it's a power bar or if it's a healthy snack, make sure that you're fueling along the way. Now, even before the race starts, we have a huge pep rally where people can kind of get right. hyped up. So, um, you know, I work for Tucson Medical Center. I work for the core at Lon Cantata. We have a great space at Lon Cantata. We have a lady named Chloe Black who works for us, and she was on the Canadian national team for five years, 95 to 2000. She's awesome. Um, she's going to have some tips and tricks. You can ride your bike up to the core. We'll have snacks. She'll give you some insights into high-level racing um, and how to ride within a pack and, you know, just have some fun. Ten-minute tips and tricks up there on Sunday, November 8th, 12 o'clock. Come on up. So this coming Sunday, this is going to be such a great event, and I'm glad that you're ha kind of hosting this. Here's some good tips right beforehand. Yeah, and you know, Tucson Medical Center wants to just make sure that, that, you know, everybody's healthy, that we have healthy communities. 
um, and that we have a safe and fun ride. And that's one of the reasons why we, when we, they asked us to sponsor, we said, sure, let's do this. Let's make sure that we can make it happen for our community. Oh, yeah. Well, again, it's the perfect partnership. So we're so glad that you did. And we're glad that you came on today. I Are know. you? Go ahead. No, no, we're glad. I'm glad to be here. It's good to see you guys. Are you going to ride in a couple of weeks? Are you going to ride in a couple uh, weeks? You, I will ride oh, if you do. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah. Are you? We'll yeah. talk about we'll it talk on it commercial after, break. In, <laughs> in the meantime, you still have time to register for El Tour de Tucson taking place on November 21st. Just visit PerimeterBicycling.com or call 745-2033 for more details. To learn more about TMC, call 324-2673 or log on to TMCAZ.com.